my name is Dr. Tandra Price. I am the editor, chief, and publisher of Tapped In Magazine. And we are here in Detroit, Michigan at the Leadership Experience Tour. And oh my God, I have a very special guest. I am so excited for her to be here at the interview table with us. Miss Angela, please introduce yourself and tell our audience who you are and what you do. Well, hello everyone. I am Angela Hooper Minifield, Chief Equipping Officer of Minifield and Associates LLC, where we build and equip supervisors and teams. And let me just say, I am happy to sit down today <laughs> with you, Dr. Tandra. You know, you my girl. <laughs> Look, I'm so super excited. Look, you have been here at the Leadership Experience Tour many, many times. So I know you have a lot of insight that you can give those who are coming in and those who are have been um, at the Leadership Experience Tour. But you know what? I love the, the best is because you have gotten so much out of the Leadership Experience Tour, and you've done some amazing things. So let's talk a little bit about what you've gotten out of the Leadership Experience Tour since you've been a part of it. That's really a great question. This is actually my third event at the Leadership Experience Tour, so third time in one year. In my first event, I was very focused driven. I was looking to really up level my speaking career. I already had a very successful training and coaching business. And that third arm as a keynote motivational speaker is what I was looking to develop. So Sean, being a, a peer of mine with the Maxwell leadership team, I saw what he was doing here at LET and I decided to join. Instantly, I saw the benefit because I was able to get the missing piece. I had the skills to do public speaking. I even had the contacts. But what I didn't have was, creden not credentials, but um, tangibles, as in mm. film, those headshots, some of those types of proposals. And the Le Leadership Experience Tour gave me an opportunity to put some of my most powerful messages on tape and get that high quality footage. From there, I came back and actually um, did a keynote presentation at a leadership tour in June of last year. That was even greater because it gave me an opportunity to also mentor other new speakers. And then this year, here in March 2023, I am back to serve as one of the keynotes and just hopefully put a word of encouragement out there for these other speakers. But also, again, get another one of my excellent keynotes on film. <laughs> I love when you say that because what I wanted to really kind of just dive in because I know that me and you are part of the, the cohort and the, and the, um, the coaching program. But you know what? The leadership experience was almost like family because, you know, when you really build those really good in-depth relationships. And matter of fact, you know, we all kind of came together as a group and did an anthology. <laughs> exactly. The tour experience, for those of us who choose to hop in, you know, because let's just be honest, there are some people who do the tour, we'll never see them again. Never. But there are those of us who have found this to be a flourishing community of other speakers and the community and the support. And, you know, our coaching cohort, I think we've been together maybe three months. And unfortunately, one of our sisters lost her dad. And as we began to just pour into her and, and support her in that journey, what we found is, and there are nine ladies in our cohort, ironically, <laughs> right? Eight of the nine of us had experienced that as a life, you know, experience. Yeah. And we all shared it in the context of, we were talking about the fact that we were daddy's girls. Mm -hmm. And then our one sister who was fortunate enough, you know, to still have a living father had experienced loss in a different way due to long-term illness. And before you know it, you know, long story short, we done sat down, created an anthology and did an Amazon bestseller Best book. Bestseller, <laughs> bestseller. Yes, daddy's girls living after the loss of a legend. And when I tell Tell you each of those stories yes. were so impactful and it just for me too I thought like it brought me closer to each of you through that experience because I got to walk your journey as a fellow daddy's girl so I am so grateful for the LEC community because I don't know if I would have connected with you that way at that level had it not been for LET. Yes I, you know I totally agree and I had such an amazing time you know, um, even with me writing my chapter, chapter, but just working with you all, you're right. I mean, this community brought us together, some amazing ladies that's doing some amazing things. And you know what? We're really supporting each other. You know, my tagline for Tap 10 Magazine is each one promote one. And we really do that within this group. We do. Um, 
the event that I'm speaking at in March, I mean, or April, excuse me, is our fellow cohort members, uh, Michelle Edelins. Oh, yeah. I know uh, Dr. Marcia's had an event, and several of our members there have been there. Uh, Alethea, um, you know, Kizzy, like the list goes on and on. It's probably some of the people you've seen in Tapped In Magazine. But we say all that to say when we find out what each other are doing, we step in because we're family, and that's what family does for each other. It really is. You know, we got that sister, that sister, uh, sister circle going on. Now, real quickly, you know, you've also helped me, you know, just to kind of really further the relationship. You've helped me with the collaboration with HMP, which is Happy Neighborhood Project. Yes. You know, you've been there with me. You've helped me. You've even uh, sat on the panel as being one of the um, – uh, coaches. So tell me a little bit about, you know, kind of the experience. We did a, a, a pitch competition mm -hmm. and just your expertise on that. But tell us kind of a little bit about the process of what you thought about that. So I was definitely served as one of the coaches for the pitch competition, and I thought it was really good. It gave these aspiring speakers an opportunity within three minutes to tell us about, you know, who they served, what problem they solved, and how people could connect and reach with them. And what I loved about it is each week as we led up to the final competition, you saw the growth. Oh, you yes. saw the uh, positive energy and the momentum. And then by the final day when we had an opportunity to really, you know, get in these various rooms and grade these pitches, I will say I was really impressed. And the connection with LED and the Happy People Network, I think is a great connection. Again, there's places of synergy and growth where we can support each other and turn these two families into a bigger family. Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love what you just said. <laughs> you know, so again, being here at the LED gives you such amazing, great experience. I mean, we've seen it, like you made a good comment, like, you know, those that have really got in and, and really kind of ele elevated their business. But you know what? Tell me right now, you know, what would you ta say to someone who has not been a part of LED um, or looking to increase their, their speaking career? What, would you, what kind of advice would you give them as part of being a part of LED? What I would say is it's definitely an experience that anyone serious, and I'm, I'm going to say that word again, uh, Dr. Tandra, serious about having a professional speaking career, they need to do. Because people are not going to invest their time and their money in a person that they cannot validate has the ability to convey the message that they need. And let gives each and every one of us an opportunity, again, to document our greatness. You know, there's a quote that says, if, it, if, if it's not written down, it didn't happen. Well, if it's not on film as a speaker, you didn't say it, okay? So what, I'm, <laughs> so what I'm saying is this. We can tell people all day long, oh, yes, I'm a keynote speaker. I'm a motivational speaker. Show me some evidence. <laughs> and that's what let can do for you. So, again, if you're serious, you're not out here playing, want a hobby. You mm -hmm. serious about it? You should come to the tour. That would be what I would say. Oh, awesome, awesome. See, do you, do you see the quality that comes out of the Leadership Experience Tour? Nothing but quality. I've had the opportunity to sit and listen to this amazing lady talk, and I'm telling you, y'all, she's on fire. She's on fire. As a matter of fact, she'll be on stage this Saturday giving, listen, tell us a little bit about what you're going to be talking about. So my keynote this weekend is all about self-leadership. Self-leadership is the highest level of leadership because if you cannot lead yourself, you can't lead other people. Ah. So that's what we'll be talking about today and how to get to know who you are as a leader. Because some of us think we know, but really what we know is what other people told us. Mm. And another one of my favorite quotes is, don't ask people who don't think what they think. Mm. And that's what many of us do, right? You'll say, so what do you think about this, that, and the other? They haven't had an original thought for themselves. How they got one for you? Ooh. So we're going to talk about <laughs> self-leadership on Saturday. And again, many of the people in the audience and on, um, you know, watching virtually, right, because this conference is streamed, they are looking to tap into their greatest version of themselves. How you do that is understanding how to lead yourself. Mm. And of course, if you learn how to lead yourself, you can then learn how to love yourself. Ooh, mm -mm -mm. that's a woo-woo, you know, that's that, that's that good juice she's giving y'all. Listen, you have got to make sure that you tune in on Saturday to check this out. Now, Angela has been one of my uh, featured covers on Tapped In Magazine. Yes. 
I want you to go to tappedinmagazine.org to check out her story, check out her article. I'm telling you, if you're looking for an amazing speaker, you found her here at the Leadership Experience Tour, but more importantly, Tapped In Magazine brought her to you. That's right. And look, I think I have an ad in this latest edition. Look, <laughs> don't so look. Do. So if you want to join my community of the Sisterhood of Successful Women for these women leaders that are really looking to tap into their greatness and create the life that they will completely, totally, and utterly fall in love with each and every day, you want to connect with us. Absolutely. Again, my name is Dr. Tandra Price. I am the editor, chief, and publisher of Tapped In Magazine. Go to tappedinmagazine.org to get uh, look, to check out Angela. But more importantly, if you want to get featured, uh, there's an opportunity for you there. Stay tuned. Saturday, she's going to be setting the stage on fire, y'all. <laughs>